Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And next up on the Gladiator build is the Rugged Ridge Snorkel. And I'm going with the low profile mount. I had that on my JK. I really liked it. Um, it makes it look really clean, kind of stealthy, which is sounds kind of dumb to say about a snorkel. But I did get people asking a lot of times because if you saw, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know, in the Ozarks, we've got a ton of water crossings, some of them deep, and we were prepared for that. So I got asked a lot of times, dude, you're nuts. Why don't you have a snorkel? And I did. And honestly, I figure if I get in water that's deep enough to go through that and mess up my engine, then I probably deserve it and did something incredibly stupid and probably have more things to worry about than that. So. Uh, I'm going to get this mounted up. I don't think it's a very hard install. They have done a crazy improvement between the JK style and the JL style. The JK style was stupid pain in the butt install to do. You had to pull the whole fender, the, the flare off, pop the whole fender off to get down in there and install that. This one, you just, it just goes right there and you just mock do the air box and I don't think it's very hard. So let's get this box open, see what we got, and then we'll get this installed. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And the Big Iron Overland Rally, a three-day weekend camp out and concert experience at the Big Brutus Historic Landmark. Bigger box, two boxes in a box. All right, that's it. Instructions might come in handy. All the important goodies. We've got a little rubber sleeve. We've got clamps. We've got the little chute. It goes on top. We've got the modified cowl piece. And another little rubber sleeve. And that's empty. We've got a little mount piece for that. And the airbox modifier. So, all right. That's it with that. Let's do a quick look here. I love all the pictures, that's fantastic. Step one, disconnect this little tubey thing. All right, done, easy. Step two, disconnect this, 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 and this. I always love those comments on social media where people talk about People who have snorkels being, you know, posers and mall crawlers and stuff. And there's definitely some people that are. But me and my friends legit use snorkels. This is not just a show thing. There you go. Right, let me just tuck that out of the way. Got it. Oh, lost my lamp. Lost my light. It'd be handy if this thing was, you know, metal and I could put a magnet in there. But no. Remove ambient air duct. Iron strings, two bolts. Located behind the radiator support bar. Let the ambient air duct out of engine bay. And it gets stuck between the radiator and the radiator support. Firm pull or release. Why don't I remove that? Give me a favor. Hold that. Right there. No, I can't take it off. Hold that. Just hold that. Right there. Oh. There you go. 
Got it. I made an air duct. Okay, I can go back now. Slides out, and that goes away. Isn't that such a pretty blue? Love it. And we can save that because if we ever need to take this out and return it to stock, it just slides right in. Oh, that bolt right there. You want to bring that fan out here? What fan? The little portable fan. I'll do no good. I'm like a big giant garage fan. Okay, this bolt will not be reused. Cut cow plenum lower panel as shown. That right there. Dremel time. There. That is the only cutting required on this thing. Modify the air box. There we go. There we go. Ha! Got it. I'm gonna do that every time I want to change it. Got it. Okay. Plug holes and bottom alternate using push rivets. Oh. No, I did not just want to plug these holes. I want to make sure they are actually sealed. So I'm gonna take a little RTV. Put it down in the holes. There. And that little TV goes there. Are you going to extend your breeder? Yes. Oh, yeah, they're still in the front. Why is that? Because the way the um, The way it's designed on the rear breeders, um, it's got a special one way valve that you don't have to extend. Mm. Yeah, it's not that too. Oh, I'm nervous. Nervous about this. Perfect there. Oh, that's not good there. That's going to be a problem. My bracket, my, my, my power thing oh. is, is a problem. Oh, now what? Okay. Then, how do you get that on? Yeah, I guess you just bend and move it.
I guess when you need to change the battery, you have to take the whole snorkel off? Surely not. Well, at least these, this little section here. So, about that RB snorkel. <laughs> I asked you if you wanted to do that. I know, but you didn't. You didn't like that one. I mean, we can do it if it's going to be too much. Uh, I've already got this installed. It's not, you can uninstall it. It's got silicone all around it and all that. I mean, yes, yeah, preferably I would like this. Are you going to be able to change out a snorkel and everything else? Uh, if you have a battery go dead like you did in, at the Walmart parking lot? Uh, yes. I mean, these aren't silicone on, they're just clamped on, so yeah, it can be done. Alright. Alright, that's good, that's good. That's good. I connected all the things. Sensor doesn't have to do anything else over here. All good. Okay, all done. Well, that's phase two of the Gladiator build with the Rugged Ridge Snorkel install. I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed in the fitment here. So I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna compare to some others, but there's a chance I'm gonna take this thing off and return it and see what happens. So there may be a snorkel part two coming, but anyway, that's it. It was pretty easy. It took what a little over an hour, hour and a half or so, and wasn't bad or complicated at all. No major cutting or drilling or anything like that. But thanks so much for taking the time to watch, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the the YouTube love things, and tell me what you think. Is that uh, is that normal? Is that is Am I being picky? I just um, I'm not sure. So, oh, let's get uh, let's get Carrie's opinion here. I have a sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, you have a sweatshirt. I'm I'm but dying to sweat. Look at all this. I'm dying to sweat. She's go ahead freezing. I got two on. layers. All right, what do you think? Okay, well, first let me figure out which gap you're talking about. Okay. I'm thinking you're thinking here. That would be correct. Yeah, like it feels like it should go in there. <laughs> it just looks like a hole. Yeah, it looks like it should have like another, like it needs a... Oops. Yeah, I tried to push it in a little bit and it, it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's flush here. That's all nice and tight, but it's that little, little curve there that I'm not a fan of. So. Anyway, as I was saying, like, subscribe, you know, ring the bell, all the YouTube love. And we appreciate you watching. Big changes coming up next on the Gladiator build. Big. Like, like big. Big. Like, 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 like big. <laughs> That's like big. So anyway, check back later. Bye. Okay, quick update at the end. We called James and he said we pushed in on this. We loosened up these, pushed in really hard. I cranked down on these to tighten them. And that definitely looks a lot better. That looks a little more like the, the factory side. So. It looks just like the factory side. Yeah, it's definitely much better. So hopefully that won't slide out at all, but definitely better.